Hey there, and welcome back to the final episode of this amazing backyard desert remodel. Today we'll be completing the final renovations, so make sure you stay tuned to the very end to see the results. This is episode number 10, and you are watching A Degree From YouTube. What you are looking at right now is the backyard before we actually broke ground and got started on this amazing project. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to take a look at my videos and click on episodes one through nine to be caught up on this amazing journey with us. Or you can take a look at my playlist and find amazing backyard makeover and YouTube will actually catch you up on the entire series so you can see how we got to where we are today. On day 29, unlike last episode where we installed artificial grass, it was time to actually plant some live vegetation to add to this backyard environment. Throughout this episode, you'll see us plant over 60 plants and trees, which will really make this backyard stand out in the end. As you have seen us do before, we are creating a walkway using pavers that will lead to the artificial grassy area. Throughout this entire project, I believe that we used over 60 pavers to create walkways that lead over to the deck and gazebo, the fire pit, the barbecue area, and now the artificial grass. Later that night, it was time to get started on some garden landscaping. My plan was to plant vegetation all along the paver walkways throughout the entire yard and even all around the perimeter along the fencing. Once we did that, it was also time to add some solar lighting to really make this backyard pop at night. On day 30 of the project, we got a little bit of a late start due to the immense heat we had, although we continued with the garden landscaping and finished just on time for the final day tomorrow. On this day, we'll receive 15 tons of brand new gravel, which will completely transform this backyard. On this final day of this amazing backyard remodel, we received 15 tons of pewter gray gravel to spread throughout the entire yard. Throughout this entire remodel, being the DIYers that we are, we thought we could do this entire project on our own. And you know what, for the most part we did, but we realized that time is money and we hired help when we needed to. Especially on this day, we had a crew of five amazing guys come and help us spread out this gravel, and this is not an easy job to do. And you know what? They did an amazing job, and I'm so happy that we hired help. Adding gravel to this entire backyard was truly amazing as it brought out the characteristics of everything we did. It was on this day that I realized everything has come together and this project started to feel complete. While the rest of the gravel was being spread out, I decided to do a little bit of a last minute project and put up some redwood fencing to cover the water heater, the air conditioning condenser, and the irrigation line, which seemed to me to be a bit of an eyesore and I didn't want it to take away from the rest of the backyard. Before revealing the final transformation, I really wanted to show a clip of what the backyard looked like before we even started.
And here we go. Here's the final transformation of this amazing backyard makeover. And you know what? I'm truly happy with the results. And I want to know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, what I really never mentioned is that I designed this backyard to be a great place to hang out during the day, but at night is where it really comes to life. As soon as we started planting vegetation in this backyard, it seemed to come to life as nature invited all types of birds, squirrels, and even cicada that seemed to love this tree. Take a listen. You may have noticed during the time lapse that we planted palm trees in these giant pots. They were actually called queen palms and they didn't really work out so well for us. And we ended up going with ficus as we thought this was a lot more attractive anyways. Once again, if you are brand new to this channel, this floating picture frame deck, the gazebo sitting on top of it, all the vegetation you see out in the distance, along with the sunshade sails, the custom redwood bench sitting around the fire pit, the artificial grass and barbecue area are all a part of projects done in this backyard makeover. If you're interested in knowing how to do any of this for yourself, please do not hesitate to take a look at prior episodes of this series. This four zone digital water timer by Melnor that we installed for the irrigation system ended up working out beautifully. If you remember back in episode number eight, you'll know that the main water source supporting the sprinkler system is coming from the hose bib where you would normally connect your garden hose. I think that it's truly amazing we're able to pull off an irrigation system with over 300 feet of line that was completely non-existent before we started this project. Having a DIY mentality and being that I never installed an irrigation system before, I am extremely happy with the results. Who knew that you could have such a sophisticated sprinkler system supporting over 60 plants and trees running off of a hose bib? As the day went on, it became a bit overcast. Although I started to take some pictures and as night began to fall, the true beauty of this backyard came to light. If you got this far in the video, let alone the entire Backyard Makeover series, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this type of content, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for future content.